Hi folks, Attorney Jeff Goldtrap here coming to you again from Nashville, Tennessee, from my office with another piece of information, edification and knowledge, because knowledge is power. I want to talk to you today about offers. Now, in criminal world, the offers are what you get from the state of Tennessee. The prosecutor usually says you're charged with something. Let's say, let's say you're charged with uh, uh, aggravated burglary, breaking into somebody's house but I'm willing to settle this case. I'm gonna make you an offer of uh, criminal trespassing 11 months and 29 days on probation. That's an example of an offer, a way to settle the case. Now, I hear, you know, after 21 years, I've heard many, many misunderstandings. So let me consider some misunderstandings in the next series of uh, video blogs. Misunderstanding number one for this blog, the state does not have to bring you three offers. Someone has been in the jail for the last years now and telling folks, and folks are believing them, well, you know, they got to bring you three offers. No, they don't. The state of Tennessee doesn't have to bring you any offer. There's not a rule in the criminal rules of procedure that says the state must offer you something. I had a case one time where I went to the district attorney and I said, let's discuss offers and how to settle this case. He said, I have a righteous case and you have a deserving client, there is no offer. The offer is let's have a trial. The state does not have to offer you anything, but sometimes they will and consider it closely because once an offer is made, you can accept it, reject it, or counter offer. If you accept it, great. If you reject it, the state of Tennessee doesn't ever, ever have to make that offer again. If you counter offer, if you say, I won't do 11 months on 29 days to serve, but I'll do 1129 on probation. That is a rejection of the first offer. So you've rejected their offer. So the first video blog for today is offers. Thank you very much.